Hi everybody, I'm Hong Kong Phil cellist Tim Frank. Now let me tell you a little bit about this cello. I can show you the back and the front. When I was in graduate school, I heard a guest lecture by a great American violin maker named Greg Alf. And his violin sounded so amazing, I asked him if he ever made cellos. And he told me, yes, this year he would be making one. And I immediately agreed to buy it. But there was one little catch. He said I would have to loan it to the Tokyo Quartet to play in a special concert at MIT in Boston. And they would play their own old Italian instruments on the first half of the concert and then four instruments all made by Greg on the second half. The concert was sponsored by the American Acoustical Society and it was a comparison of brand new instruments to old instruments and see which ones sound better. So after the concert I got the cello and now I get to keep it forever. I'd like to play a few bars of a Bach minuet that I'll bet you know. <laughs> And now I'll play the same music again, see if you can hear any difference in the tone quality or the volume. And the final time. Could you hear any difference in the volume between those three times that I played? I hope you heard that the first one was the loudest because I had no mute on my bridge. The second was with my regular rubber mute that we use in orchestra and that stops some of the vibrations from the bridge into the body of the cello and so the tone is a little bit more muted as we say, more muted. The third time was with this big, heavy brass practice mute. When I put it on the bridge like this, it makes it very quiet. We call it a practice mute because it's what we use for practicing at home so we don't disturb our neighbors. This year marks the 250th anniversary of the birth of Beethoven, and there have been many Beethoven concerts all around the world. Last month, the world remembered the 75th anniversary of the atomic bombing of Hiroshima. 25 years before that, I had the great honor of playing Beethoven's Ninth Symphony in Hiroshima with the Hiroshima Symphony. School children from all over Japan had made origami cranes and sent in millions and millions of them, and they were stacked in piles, mountains of origami cranes all around the concert hall. It was a celebration of peace. And here's a bit of the Ode to Joy. Oh, I've always loved the sound of the oboe, but it's hard work. It takes a lot of time to make reeds and to learn how to make a beautiful sound on the oboe. So I just leave that to my colleagues. Well, as a cellist, we normally have to play one movement of a Bach suite and a movement of a concerto, and then some excerpts. The excerpts are the difficult parts from the symphonic repertoire. If you can play these difficult parts well, then it shows that you can play almost anything well.